Hello YouTube, welcome to another video. So today I am doing a portrait of Johnny Depp um, as Captain Jack Sparrow and the reason I'm doing this is that I am part of an art group called The Prompt Squad um, and we, well some of us, have been following the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial quite closely and our prompt this month is Megapint. <laughs> um, so if you have been following the trial you'll be aware of the Megapint situation. Um, I mean, I think a lot of people are aware of it, even though they've not been following it. You kind of can't get away from the memes, by all means. Um, but yeah, so that's the the, um, the prompt for this month that we're following. Um, so this piece that I'm showing you today is, um, I mean, it's heavily sped up <laughs> because it took about three to four hours to complete. Um, but it's not going to be the final entry to the Prompt Squad because I'm going to add um, some stuff digitally um, for a, a bit of a jokey. So kind of like the idea for it was to base it on like a, an advert for alcohol or like a fragrance campaign that you see in magazines where you kind of get like the model and then the bottle. So I'm going to be adding a pint glass and the slogan later in Procreate. Um, I'm not going to show that here today. Originally, I was going to include it in the painting, but I didn't want to ruin it just for comedy. So that's why that's going to be added digitally at a later date. Um, and at this point, I haven't done that yet. Um, so just to get this out of the way, I don't want any arguing in the comments about the case. I'll put it out here now. I support Johnny Depp. I have always supported Johnny Depp, and I did not believe any of the allegations from the start. Um, I have always believed that Abba Heard is lying and I've never liked her. Um, I've been aware of who she is from back in the Criminal Minds day. She was in an episode of that, just didn't like a vibe. I saw her in an interview shortly after that and she just, I don't know, didn't like her. Um, but that is all I'm really going to say about the case. Um, but please, no arguing in the comments. Um, this is about art, this isn't about um, what's going on there, and I don't want to get in a legal debate about it. Um, so going on to the art piece, uh, this piece has been completed in inks and watercolour with a little bit of pencil at the end um, and a gel pen for highlights. So I started off uh, drawing the piece in graphite. Now that's not on camera because um, it takes me a really long time and I can't do it with a camera in the way. Um, so I will usually draw my piece beforehand because I lean over it quite a lot um, and then I get the camera involved for the inking. Um, so it was inked in a Tombow Fudenosuk brush pen in black and it's the hard nib. Um, that took a couple of hours I think. Um, I, I filmed an hour of it. I stopped um, because I didn't, I didn't want to I didn't want to speed the video up so much that you couldn't really see what I was doing. So there's a cut. So I've done the majority of the inking. Um, and then what I've done off camera is to complete the inking and to go over any spots that um, where the pigment hadn't taken to the paper as much as I would have liked. Um, from there, once it was dry and the next day, I went in with watercolour. So the watercolour that I chose to use for this piece is the Arteza um, Real Brush Pens. There's a little bit of them in there. Um, I mainly use the Arteza 36 pan watercolour set, so that's the solid watercolours. I also use the Viva colour sheets. Um, and then I used, what did I use? Posca pencils at the ends to just deepen some of the colours. Um, and I used a Signo gel pen um, for highlights and then around the edge because the uh, Signo wasn't mixing with the, the colour sheets very well I used a Posca about five times to outline it. Um, yeah so the reason why I used so many different types of watercolour is because um, well I had the biggest range in the, uh, the Arteza ones um, but the depth of colour in those isn't quite what I wanted, so I brought in the Vivi colour sheets for the, the real, like the deep red um, and the colours on his, I think it's a smock type thing he's wearing. Um, but yeah, I mean, lots of different types of watercolour there. 
Um, the yeah, the eyes I'd say they are highlighted in a gel pen. Gel pens are great for this, um, and yeah, the pencils have come in for all the, the little details. Um, yeah, so it's it's a lot of work. It was a, it was a lot of work to do this, and to add, I have never done a portrait in watercolor, so this is my first one. And the background, so I talk about the background a little bit. It is painted in the. I can't talk. <laughs> the Viviva colour sheets, um, but it was stenciled. I um, spent a long time looking at stencils because I wanted, I didn't want flat backgrounds and I wasn't really sure how to go about it. I didn't just want to chuck a load of watercolour on the page. Um, so I started looking at stencils, and this one that I settled on is a marbling stencil. Um, it's just a craft stencil, it's got multiple applications. You can use it for like spray painting you can use it for uh, icing all sorts of different things um so what i did here was i lightly penciled it in uh, i had to it's a repeating pattern and i think i had to repeat it about five times um although it's it's not obvious looking at the piece that it's a repeating pattern which is quite good um and i did loosely stick to it when i painted over it's not perfect um like i didn't exactly stick to the lines i kind of some bits I omitted, other bits I extended out a little bit just to make it look a little bit more organic. But it is basically just a representation of water. Um, I went in with the tealy green colour first and I did that at different dilutions um, and then once that was dry I went in and did uh, the blue. So once all the watercolours were done I then went on and um, I re-inked it because <laughs> I didn't realise this would happen, but some watercolours will go over ink and there was me thinking they were all completely translucent. So any browns and any yellows had completely hidden the line work um, to the point where I could see it to re-ink it, but it didn't really show up in a photograph. So that was then another maybe an hour to re-ink. So now we're at three hours of inking <laughs> and a couple of hours painting, I think. Um, once it was re-inked, I went in and did all the little details. So like I said before, that was in the Posca pencils, um, a Posca marker for the outline, and um, yeah, the uh, the gel pen for the eyes. And uh, yeah, it's finished. Still a really long time. And normally I don't um, I don't spend that long on a piece, but like given my like Johnny Depp's my favourite actor. He's always been my favourite actor since What's Eating Gilbert Grape, whenever that came out. I was quite young when that came out, but um, he's a, uh, yeah. He, he's the actor that I've admired the most over the years. So it, it meant a lot, and especially with this court case at the moment, um, I really feel for him. And, um, and everyone involved really is a bit of, it's an awful situation, but yeah it just it meant a lot to do it and to do it properly and to not rush it so anyway i hope you all think that it is worth it um but yeah i was going to go on and talk about johnny a little bit but obviously i, I it doesn't really need to be said i mean who doesn't know who he is i mean let's face it it's johnny depp he's probably the best known actor in the world or certainly one of the best known actors in the world um but yeah, I don't. I don't think I need to talk about him really in any any great detail. You know who he is. Um, but yeah, so that's that. So I'm going to put it into time lapse a little bit now. Not least in time lapse anyway. But I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to play some music, and I'll catch up with you at the end.
So as I mentioned earlier in the video, this piece was created from an art group I am a part of called Prompt Squad. Now, if you'd like to find out more about Prompt Squad and join in, um, if you visit Jasmine Todd's illustrations, who I will link below in, in the description, uh, you'll find all the videos that Jasmine has created for the group and all the videos that she has made for her own art. And you should definitely check them out because Jasmine is awesome. Um, but back to my piece, if you enjoy the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. If you hit the bell, you will get notifications for any new uploads. And as always, I will link below to my social media accounts where you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, and once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.